Travellers in Australia faced hours of delays today after the failure of all smart gates brought every international airport to a standstill. With e-passports not working, immigration officials had to do it the old-fashioned way, face-to-face -face and one at a time. And as Australia correspondent Connor Whitten reports, tens of thousands of passengers were affected. From the breakneck speed of airline travel to the glacial pace of an airport queue, these were the lucky ones in Sydney. For most, customs wasn't even in sight. There's one big queue out there and it's a disaster. Thousands of travellers clogged Australian airports as a massive outage struck nationwide. The electronic smart gates that process passports failing in every airport in Australia. From Sydney to Melbourne, Brisbane to the Gold Coast, tens of thousands of international passengers had to be processed in customs by hand. All international passengers are being manually processed. Inbound and outbound, every traveller affected some facing nearly two hour waits. It's just, I reckon it would be banged up back to the gates. Like, I don't reckon planes would even be able to land. Australia's border force said an IT system outage was to blame. Extra staff were brought in for processing, but the result was long delays and a rude awakening for weary travellers. We just got off a 17 hour flight from uh, Dallas, so that's the last thing you want. Who weren't just tired, tempers flared pretty cranky. There's people cutting in lines, running down sidelines. Leaving families to linger in airport arrivals where the warmest of welcomes would have to wait. All right, Connor, what's the situation like now at airports? Well, Sam, those smart gates are finally back up and running, and so that backlog is slowly clearing. But it took a full six hours to fix them, and the ripples of that will be felt all day. In Brisbane alone, 10,000 passengers were affected. In Melbourne and Sydney, there were even more. And inevitably, all of that chaos does flow through to New Zealand, where there isn't any impact on flights leaving Kiwi airports. But it is a very different story on the way in. Uh, on the way into Auckland, five flights from the Gold Coast in Sydney are delayed. On the way to Queenstown, there are three, three to Wellington and one to Christchurch delayed as well. So all up, that is thousands of incoming passengers facing, in one case, up to three hour delays. So there will be a lot of Kiwi families at the airport this evening facing a long wait for familiar faces to arrive. Connor, thank you.